hurry up, then it's all clear. <laughs> Very pleasant evening. <laughs> Kill you. Now get the van, Albert. You're all right, as long as we don't draw attention to ourselves. Rodney? Yeah. Here you are. Hurry up. Drive the van back over here, Unc. But I'm not insured. Well, don't have a crash then. <laughs> <laughs> what if the police patrol sees us? It's all right. These dolls ain't ooky. I'm thinking more of the public indecency charge. <laughs> How are you going to explain this in court? I should tell the truth, Rodney. I should say, yes, Your Honour. The other evening, my brother and I decided to go out for a drink with two life-size inflatable dolls which were wearing my late mother's clothing. <laughs> I can't put you in prison for that, Rodney, can I? Eh? No, they'll chuck us in Broadmoor. The <laughs> Norman Bates win, most probably. Hold up, hold up. Good evening, Gary. Good evening, Clayton. Good evening, Rodney. Good evening, Mr Cooper. Good evening, ladies. What, good evening? <laughs> Let me finish with them, OK? Just give it just a minute. Hey, are you coming down Dirty Barry's with us? No, I ain't. I've got a date with Cassandra. Look, I had a date with that Simone sort from the Cut Price Butchers. And she had a bag of liver for us. <laughs> Knocked her on the head. Business comes first. Well, I'm not knocking Cassandra on the head. Look, you bought them, he blew them up, so it's YP, Derek. YP? Your problem. <laughs> you dipstick. <laughs> Come on, Albert, get in a van. Why have I got to come in with you? I need you to help me carry him into Dirty Barry's. Don't keep worrying. We're in the van now. No one can see him. I hope you're right. Trust me. Have I ever put you wrong before? Your people, who will 